Hi, my name's Eric, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a USB audio interface and install Reaper on your Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. To start, we're going to go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads and download the Raspberry Pi Imager. From here, you can choose a bunch of different OS's, but for the purposes of today's video, we're going to choose Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. I already did this. Once you get through the initial setup process, you're going to want to run sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. Next, I'm going to go in and change the ALSA settings. You can do this by sudo nano slash user slash share slash ALSA slash ALSA dot conf. Once in the config file, scroll down to where it says defaults control card zero, defaults PCM card zero. You're going to want to change both of those values to one and then save the text file. If you want to, you can install Audacity by just typing sudo apt get install Audacity. Works totally fine, but today we're going to be installing Reaper. In a browser window, navigate to reaper.fm, click download Reaper, scroll down, click on the Linux experimental builds, then download Linux ARM v71. Once the file's finished downloading, go to your file folder, go to your downloads folder, right click on the file that you downloaded and extract it. Double click on the install reaper.sh and then you're going to want to hit I, then enter to install it. From there, you're going to choose your file directory. I chose two. And then it's going to ask you if you want to add desktop integration. Choose yes. It's going to ask you if you want to proceed with the install. Hit yes. And once the terminal window closes out, you've installed Reaper. Congratulations. Now that Reaper's installed, let's give a little bit more oomph to our Raspberry Pi. Let's overclock it. To overclock the Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to change the config.txt file on a Windows laptop. You're going to want to delete the line that's currently there, and you're going to want to replace it with what I have shown on screen. You might want to pause the video if you're going to try to copy these overclock settings. This is also the time to plug in the USB audio interface. In my case, the Zoom U22. Let's open Reaper again, shall we? Let's go into our audio preferences now. As you can see, I had some pretty high expectations. Those expectations were thwarted by the lack of speed of the Raspberry Pi, but it's okay. I lowered it to 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, and it works perfectly fine now. The entire voiceover for this video was recorded directly into Reaper on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B using the Zoom U22 audio interface and the Samson Q8X dynamic microphone. You might be thinking, wow, what am I gonna do now? Now that I have this great program Reaper on my Raspberry Pi, stay tuned next week and you will find out no conclusion to that. See you next time.